Hey guys, welcome to Kingdom Kids. I'm so glad that you guys are Stay here mom, with us. Mom, I'm gonna need you to back up, okay? I got some working space. Oh, Mia, be, be, be Mia, back Mia, up. Mia, what? guess what? It's time for Kingdom Kids. What? Oh, hey yeah. guys, welcome. Yes, so what you got going on today? Okay, so school's about to start back and I'm just worrying and I just got to do all this what? stuff. Wait, wait, wait. And Slow down, take a breath. It's, you know what, Mia? What? I know school's got about to start back yeah. and you might feel a little bit worried about some things, but you know what, it's gonna be a great year. You don't have anything to worry Big about. Big mama, you do not understand. I haven't been to school in a long time. That's true. And what if I forgot to go to my locker and how to get my books out and to get to class on time? Oh, I understand. So you brought your locker yes, and you I'm just wanna... Yes, I'm going to practice. So that's why I need okay. the kids' help. Okay. I need you guys to time me, okay? Okay, so all right. So whenever I say go, you're gonna time me and then I'm gonna try and do everything and get all my books and Okay, stuff. all right guys, so you, you guys gotta, gotta back count. Up, you're in my way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up, you guys count for Mia, all right? She's you're gonna still in my way. try, Mia. She's gonna try and make sure that she can get to her yes. class on time, if all right? Get to the okay, <laughs> I'm out of the way, here we go. Okay. Okay, okay I gotta prepare. Go. I can okay. do this. You can. You got this, Mia. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, three. Three. Hey, Mama, you gotta shush. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Two. And. Hey, Mama. I'm sorry. Well, I'm trying to hush you. I, just, I got excited. Hurry. I'm trying to. The bell's about to no, ring. No, okay. no, the bell. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. Go. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. 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 So I All got right. okay. Okay. the All combination. Right. Okay. Combination. I forget the combination. I don't know. Um, 38. Uh, 38. 20. 25. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Open it up. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Get your books out. Books. Oh, my goodness. Okay. My books aren't here. All right. Um, oh, Where's no. your books? No, those are my books. Mia, who's this? Uh, Big Mom, you're not supposed to look at it. Close the door. Close the door. So, oh my gosh, Mia. What? I think, what? He, I think you missed the bell. There's no. the principal. No! He's gonna write you up for being tardy. What's a tardy? That's okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Mia. Big mama. You're not, you're not really at school. Oh, big mama. Just, I'm just joking. I just wanted to make you laugh. Big mama, that was no just laughing seemed, matter. <laughs> you just seem so stressed. Like, why are you so worried about I'm this? I'm stressed because school starts soon. I can't sit around wasting time. I got a lot to worry about. Well, Mia, you know what? That's not exactly the right thing to do because actually God's word says in 1 Peter 5, 7 that we can give God all of our cares and our worries and guess what? He loves us so much that he cares about all of them. He'll, he will help us with anything that, that's worrying us, making us feel stressed. Seriously? That's you right. You mean he even cares about me getting to class on time? He sure does. And if my friends still like me? Yeah, he definitely cares about that. And if I can get the lunch lady to serve only pizzas for the rest of forever? Well, you know, that wouldn't actually be healthy for you, Mia, so that- Hey, Mama, have you never had lunchroom pizza? Yeah, they are pretty awesome, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, you're right. But you know, but seriously, guys, the things that we're worried about, we can give them all. We can just talk to God, pray about them. He cares about every single one. He loves us so much that he will help us with everything that we're, we're upset about. Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel so much better? It makes Mia? you feel so much better, Big Mama. Yes. Thank you. I just want to like give God worship and praise, don't you? Yeah, Mia? let's do it. You know what, guys? That is exactly what we need to do because you know what? When we worry about things, they just get so big and we just can't stop thinking about them. But guess what? When we worship, it takes all those things that seem so big, it moves them down there, and we put worship as the most important thing. And we give God all the praise, and guess what? All those worries, they don't seem important anymore. Yeah. So let's just give God worship. I want you guys to stand up. This is not a concert or a show. We're not just watching. You guys stand up, and let's connect with God. Let's worship and praise Him. Let's go. Let's go.
life is a journey A path made for me With every step I take As I run this race I'm becoming the person you call me to be A child of God, a life redeemed So I set my eyes on you Jesus, I'm ready I'm ready to go Where you lead, where you lead, I'll follow Where you lead, where you lead, I'll go I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for tomorrow This is the journey Worship awesome. Don't you just love having that time to praise God and just put all of our worship ahead of anything we're worried about? Yes, Big Mama. That made me feel very encouraged. But yeah. then I just looked over at Milo yeah. and he just had worry written all over his face. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I mean, did he just seem like something was bothering him and you could just see it like when you looked at him? Or Well, like I said, he had worry written all over his face. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, I think we should just call him up okay. and see if he can just tell us what's going on. Because I don't, I don't know what could be bothering him. Hey, Milo. hey, Milo, Milo. Milo. What? Oh, okay. Told you. Uh, wow. He really does. You're right, Mia. Um, Milo, why do you have the word worry written all over your face? Huh? Oh, I wondered what I did with those things. I have to remind myself to worry later. Uh, oh, what? What? Why in the world would you want to remember to worry? Because if you worry, then the bad things won't happen, you see? Oh, oh Milo. Oh, no, Milo, that's not how it works. You know, actually, Mia and I were just talking yeah, we about were. this. And you know, the Bible tells us about how God, He loves us so much that we can just tell Him, we can pray and tell Him everything we're worried about. And He will help us with every one of those things. And you know what? He's the one in control of everything that happens in our life anyway. Yep. So there's no point in worrying. It doesn't do us any good. So you know what? 
Milo, a good thing to do is to tell your parents, tell a grown-up something that you're worried about, and they can pray with you, too. So why don't you just tell me what's, what's been bothering you? Well, I'm going to school soon, and I'm scared that Clucky's going to forget about me because I'm going to be busy, I'll be at school for so long, and he won't even be my pet anymore. Uh, well, you know, Milo, I, I totally understand that. But I just want to remind you of one thing. You know, um, you're actually homeschooled, so wow, Milo. you won't be away from him. So, you know, wow. actually, Clucky could just sit on your lap while you do your schoolwork. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's but there all. is one more thing that I'm worrying about. Though. Well, let me just take this worry off of you. What is that last thing you're worried about, Milo? I'm scared those zombies are after my brain. Oh, gosh. Milo, you don't have to worry about that because you don't even have me, a me, brain. Me, 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 me. What? No, that's not nice. So Sorry. Yeah. Okay. But you know no. what? Milo, you don't you don't have to worry about those things at all because you know what? Actually, our point for today is that we should trust God instead of worrying. Say that with me, guys. Trust, trust God, God trust instead God of worrying. Worry. Instead of worrying. You guys got it. That's awesome. Yep. We should trust God instead of worrying because there's nothing too big for him. And you know what? When we worry, we're basically just saying to God, you know what, God? I don't think that you're strong enough to take care of this. I don't think that you have enough power to help me. That's what we're doing. No, 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 big mama. That is not what I'm saying. I know. That's not what we mean to say to God. But you know what? That That's what, what happens when we worry. Okay? And we don't want to do that because we know that we can trust God and we know that He has enough power to help us with anything that we're facing in our life. Right, guys? Yes. Right. So we're going to check in with Connect HQ because I heard that some of those guys were struggling with worrying too. Uh -oh. So let's find out what happens and what they learned about worry. Let's go. Mike, what are you doing? I'm watching this strange little bug fly through the air. Why? Well, do you ever wonder what he's thinking in his little bug brain? Not really. Is he worried about his next little bug meal, finding a bug wife, settling down, having a little bug family? Or is he confused by a giant creature that's staring at him fly around all day? I didn't think of that. Hey, I'm your friend, don't worry. Where'd he go? Oh, now I have to have a little bug funeral. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time the what ifs took over. Does that bug bite still hurt, Mike? <sighs> it just itches like crazy. Oh, new mail. I'll see what we got. What does it say? My name is Benny. All my friends from school are getting sick with the flu. I feel fine, but what if I get sick too? I don't even want to go outside. I'm so worried. Help me connect HQ. Oh, too worried to go outside? That's, that's no good. Hello? Hi, I don't think we've met before. I've never been to Connect HQ before. My name's Fern. I was hoping someone could help me. Oh, absolutely. My name is Mike and this is Harper. How can we help you? Well, at school yesterday, we took this really big test. I won't know my score until next week and I'm really worried that I didn't pass it. Well, did you study? I studied every night, but what if it wasn't enough? What if I didn't pass? I'm getting a headache, I'm so worried. Another worried person. Maybe we can help Benny and Fern at the same time. That's a great idea, Harper. Worrying just makes us miserable. Instead, we need to say, I trust God instead of worrying. I trust God instead of worrying. Exactly. Worrying's not going to make your test score better or keep the flu away from you. Uh, hey, hey, Maurice. Maurice. <coughs> hey, guys. Maurice, this is Fern. You should get that cough looked at. I think dust just got stirred up when you came down. I heard you guys say something about worry. I know the perfect skit vision verse link for that. That's awesome, let's see it. Well, I can also help with that flu problem. I found this great website, symptomtracker.doom.gloom. Symptomtracker.doom.gloom? What is it? Well, what you do is you put in your symptoms here and it tells you what your condition is, see? Uh, I don't think that's what we need right now. 
Or you can type in the condition here, see, flu, and that'll tell you what symptoms to look out for. That way we can help Benny know what he's looking for. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Coughing, headache. She was just coughing. And earlier she said she had a headache. The coughing was from the dust and the headache was from the worrying. But what if it's more than that? What if you're getting the flu? I am not getting sick. I am not getting sick. But what if you are? Do you want me to get sick too? No, I don't want that. Are you chewing gum? It smells really good. Oh, I love this gum. I love the red color and how soft it is. Wait, did you say you can smell my gum? If smells can get in, then germs can get out. Maurice, you scared me. I swallowed my gum. Well, this says that soft red gums could lead to displaced dental dysphoria. Different kind of gum, Maurice. I don't have displaced dental dysphoria. But what if you do? I don't want that. Ooh. Uh, how often do you swallow your gum? The symptom tracker says that that could lead to borderline waistline misalignment. You two are not sick. Not yet, but what if we get sick? All this worrying is making you too miserable, and it's keeping us from getting any work done. And worst of all, it's making me be the voice of reason. Maybe this Bible link I found for Benny will help you too as well. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for is alive. One day, Jesus noticed a crowd was beginning to follow him. So he went up to a mountainside to teach them. And this is what Jesus said to them. It is pointless to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or clothes, your life is worth more than any of that. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't plant or harvest or store food away because your heavenly Father takes care of them. And aren't you more valuable to Him than they are? Could worrying add a single moment to your life? And don't worry about what your clothes look like. Look at the lilies of the field and see how they grow. They don't work to make their clothing, and yet they are beautiful. And if God cares so much for the lilies that only last for a little while, why wouldn't He care for you? You don't need to ask the question, what if? Or worry about things like, what will we drink? Or eat? Or where? Your Heavenly Father knows all your needs before even you do. Don't worry about tomorrow, because that will just bring more worry. Choose to live for God, and He will always take care of you. Nothing is too small or too big for God. Worry is worth nothing. God's got this. I've never thought of that before. Birds and plants don't ever worry, and God takes care of them. If He wants to take care of them, imagine how much more He wants to take care of us. See? We don't have to try to control every situation with our worry. God is in control. He knows what's best for us, so we should just put our trust in Him. The symptom tracker has done it again! Girls, run. Save yourselves. Now, it took a little bit of time, but the symptom tracker was finally able to determine why you're scratching so bad. I just got a bug bite earlier. That's all that is. Not according to this. The symptom tracker says that with the scratching and the redness and the flaky skin, you have cedar rust. Cedar? What? I do not have cedar rust. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. Well, that's the amazing part. It's a disease that only affects trees. You're the first human to ever get it. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Okay. It says here that we can prevent the disease from spreading if we cut off the affected limbs. Whoa, you are not cutting off my arm and I do not have cedar rust. But what if you do? Hey, everyone. Hey, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. Does anybody have the verse link for our transmission to Benny? Maurice, didn't you say that you had the skit vision video earlier? That's right. 
I got so wrapped up with symptomtracker.doom.gloom, I forgot about it. Here, I'll pull it up right now and put it on the big screen. What a beautiful day to get out on the lake. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh, no. It's okay, like 100 feet from shore. But without that water, all we have left is this water bottle. And this water bottle. And if we drink these, we'll only have the gallon jug of water left in the backpack. Rodney, we're not gonna need that much water. I can literally see my car over there. But what if we get stuck in the water? What if an eagle swoops down and steals our oars? Why would an eagle do that? Okay, no, even if for some strange reason an eagle takes our oars, we use our hands to paddle back or we'll just swim to shore. What if the lake is full of piranha and they swim up to the surface and they eat our hands? <laughs> there are no piranha in this lake. What if the park rangers decide to empty the lake and we get stuck on the riverbed? We can't walk all that way. Why would they drain the lake? I don't know, probably because of the piranha. <laughs> Rodney, it sounds like you've got a lot of what ifs. Well, I've got a what if for you. What if you give your worries to God like it says in the Bible? It says that in the Bible? Yes, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Say it with me. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God. Give all your worries and cares to God. For He cares about you. For He cares about you. Wow. That feels amazing, giving all my worries over to God. God loves us. We can go to him with anything. Does that make you feel a little less what iffy? Yeah, it does. How do you feel? Um, a little thirsty. Can I have one of your waters? If you have some to spare. <laughs> all this worrying has made us all look silly. We drove ourselves crazy worrying about all the bad things that probably won't even happen. We forgot about how much God cares for us. Being able to say, I trust God instead of worrying, not only makes us feel better, but also brings us closer to Him. I'm sorry, guys. I was so obsessed with my symptom tracker, I didn't see what an effect it was having on you. We forgive you, Maurice, but maybe it's time you take that app off of your tablet. First, I forgot the verse, and then I didn't notice what was going on around me. This says that forgetfulness and failure to notice details may be signs of neural noggin syndrome. There's that prospector's brain. Maurice, do you need to watch the Skip Vision video again? Mike here, and thank you for your question, Benny, and sorry to hear all your friends are getting the flu, but don't worry. It's pointless to worry about a situation you have no power to change. But you're probably wondering, how do I stop worrying? The Bible says we can take all our worries and hand them over to God. Like this, 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. If you're worried about catching the flu or how you did it on a test or making new friends, tell God all about it. He'll take care of the worry because He loves you. Jesus reminds us that God takes care of the birds and the plants. He values you so much more than those birds, so you can be sure He will take care of you too. There's no need to worry. One sure way to know that you are worrying is when you start asking those what if questions in your heart and mind. Or when you feel like something bad is going to happen, even when everything's okay. God is in control. And worry comes when I try to control things that I need to turn over to God. Everything works better and I feel better when I trust God instead of worrying. I hope that helps, Benny. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Luke, I am your father. The reason we don't have to worry is because God cares about us. He showed us His love by giving us Jesus. If you want to be a follower of Jesus, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. 
Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make the decision to follow Jesus, talk to your parents or a leader you trust. You know, the guys at Connect HQ really did have a hard time struggling with worry and, and being afraid of things that they didn't need to. But you know, they learned that we can really give all of our worries, all of our cares to God because He loves us so much. He cares about the things that bother us. And I've got something I want you guys to do. I want you to find a container. It could be an empty cookie jar. It could be just any small little container that you have at your house. And then I want you to get a few strips of paper and a pen. And you know one way that we can give all of our worries to God is we can write them down. So I want you to pause this video and I want you to give each person at your house a little piece of paper and a pen. And I just want you to write down things that, you're, that you feel worried about. Maybe, maybe you're like Mia. Maybe, maybe you're worried about things that are going to happen when school starts and, and you're not sure what's going to happen. Maybe you've been really worried that someone in your family or you are going to get sick and, and you don't know what's going to happen. There, there's lots of things that you could be worried about. No matter how big or small it is, God cares about it. So write it on a little piece of paper, and I want you to put it in this jar. And then when everyone gets done doing that, I want you guys to just give it to your parents, give it to a grown-up, and you guys just read them all together. And take time to just pray and give all of those things to God. So I want you guys to pause the video and do that. Guys, I want you to remember one very important thing. Out of everything that we've talked about today, I want you to remember that worry changes nothing, but prayer can change everything. God does not want us to worry. If we could truly understand how big and how powerful and how awesome our God is, we really wouldn't worry about anything. God just wants us to know Hey, I love you so much. I care about everything that's on your heart, everything that, that makes you feel afraid or worried or whatever it is that's bothering you. God loves you so much that He wants to help you through it, and He will. When you pray about it, when you tell those things to God, He is listening. And whenever you talk to a grown-up about it and get them to pray with you too, guess what? They can help you. They can talk to you. Just like I had to remind Milo, he's he doesn't have to worry about Cluggy because he's going to be homeschooled. There's things like that that grown-ups can even help you with because you do not need to feel worried or afraid. You do not need to let that fear have a place in your heart. Let's just put all of our trust in God because He's in control and He loves us. Let's pray together so that we can ask God to help us do that this week. God, we love you so much, and we thank you for your love. God, thank you that we can just trust in you. God, thank you that you're in control, and we don't have to be, that we don't have to worry about things that are going to happen. God, thank you that all the things that we worry about most of the time don't even happen. God, I pray that you'll just help us to just skip the worry, skip the fear and the stress, and just go straight to worship, go straight to trust in you, God. And I just thank you that you'll just touch every kid, every family right now. Lord, I pray that you'll just encourage them. Father, I pray that they will truly just take all their cares and all their worries and give them to you, Lord. Put them in your hands because you are in control and you have so much love. I thank you that you'll just give us peace as we do that, Lord. And we thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, thank you for being part of Kingdom Kids this week. I am so glad that you were here. And I cannot wait to see you. I cannot wait to give you a big hug. I love you, and I will see you next time. You know, that helped me learn a lot about trusting God with everything. Yeah, we don't have to worry about anything. God's got it. You know, and I'm not worried about Clucky anymore. He'll never forgive me. I even trust him so much as my friend that we are going to do the trust fall. Trust fall? What's that? Here, Clucky, come here. Come here, buddy. Wow, that was, that was fast. fast. So you're going to catch me, right? I'm going to fall back and you are going to catch wait, me, right? Wait, wait, hold, hold on, guys. Right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't think this is a good idea. How is this? This is a great idea. I you're can landing him. on a chicken, my nah, love. Nah, he, he, can, he can do it. He can what do about it. you catch Clucky? Maybe that's a nah, better idea. No, no, no. Clucky, you got this, right, buddy? All right, you ready? Uh, maybe we should get Big Mama. Uh, no, kids, no. listen here. Uh, don't try this at home. Okay. Uh, Here, Clucky. They don't you know ready? what they're doing. Ready? Please Three, don't get hurt. Two, one. Clucky, wait, wait. wait, guys. Milo? Milo, you okay? Clucky? Oh, 
goodness. Uh, well, what you just learned here is that you can never trust a chicken, but you can trust God. Okay, bye. You guys need help? I'm just gonna walk away. I'll be okay. No.